Hey guys, it's Bethany, and today I'm bringing you a collab with Eerie from Cookie Chippery. I hope I pronounced that correctly here on YouTube. She's a super creative avant garde artist here on YouTube and Instagram, so please check her out after you watch my look. So let's begin with my flounder inspired mermaid. So I go back and forth a lot in my creative process with this look. First, I am putting white paint on the middle parts of my face and then just blending that out with a beauty blender. And then I am going to map out some places on my face with yellow paint. And we're going to not make the deepest contours blue, uh, yellow because they're going to be blue later. Once some key areas are accentuated with yellow, I'm going to be going in with blue and placing that in the deepest part of my cheekbone contour. I'm also gonna run the blue under my eye socket and back into my hairline. For me, this look was about mostly keeping the blue and yellow separate, but allowing it to overlap in some places because I wanted more than just two colors. Then I'm gonna cover my lids in yellow paint and fill in the whole eye socket area with yellow paint as well. I left only a little bit of space blank on the brow bump. I also accentuated the tip of my nose with a bit of yellow paint. Next I'm putting a little bit of white paint on my brow bone using just that sponge and just a little bit of the residue that was left on it. Then I'm going to be using a yellow cream paint and filling in my brows. And then after that, I took the sponge again and decided to blend out the edges of the yellow paint. Then back to the brows, I'm going to take a dark blue cream paint and I'm going to be lining the bottom of the brows just to add a bit more structure and then the back end of the brows so it looks like they fade from the bottom and the back. I then use that same dark cream paint and add some details like this little curve that goes under my eye. After that, I'm taking this Urban Decay eyeshadow called Gonzo. It's from the Electric Palette. And I'm going to be blending that into my crease and into the blue paint that's on the back end of my brow bone. I'm also taking that eyeshadow in some key places to just add a little bit more blue shading, especially where the bits of contour are and under my lip. And at the top of your forehead, because you don't want to forget that. It just brings the whole look together. Now I'm just straightening out the point in this paint, and I told you guys, I go back and forth with this. This is just my creative process here. Then I'm going to be taking this yellow eyeshadow from Coastal Scents and I'm going to be blending in and bringing in all of my yellow paint to where it looks mainly like the very center of my face is still highlighted a bit with white but everything looks a lot more natural. That is if having a face as yellow as Big Bird could ever be considered natural but you know, you know what I mean. Then I'm going back to my yellow paint and drawing some big scales on my neck. First three scales, then two below it, and then three more. I'm then going to outline those with a small brush and some blue paint. I mix these two eyeshadows together because I wanted to shade under my chin and along the sides of my neck. I also filled in the top parts of the scales to make them look more shaded. Then I'm taking the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Mermaid, hehe, <laughs> fitting, and I'm going to be pretty much smothering that everywhere, but primarily on the lid, and then blended, and then below the lid, on the lower lid, or the eye bag, whatever you want to call it, and then as a bit of a highlight in some key places, and at the tops of the scales to make them look all shimmery. Then I'm putting on the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Echo. You guys know I love this one. Then I'm taking the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic, and I'm going to highlight the living crap out of my entire life, especially my cheekbones, my forehead, and even my lipstick. 
Then I put on this gorgeous navy blue wig that was sent to me by Wigaholics. I will link them down below. It's got a ton of body, so I love it. After that, I paint my shoulders yellow and I add some shading and additional details to the decollete area. Then I put setting spray on myself and fling some chunky glitter everywhere. This is not cosmetic glitter, by the way, it's craft glitter. But it looks like scales, so I sprinkled it all over myself. Then I'm going in with the NYX Aqua Luxe Liner in 24 karat, and I'm going to be eyelining my inner tear duct, as well as a few of the edges of the lines that I've done on my face. Then I'm going to be applying some mascara to the tops and bottoms of my lashes and putting on some false eyelashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. Then I line my waterline with a navy blue NYX eyeliner. And then as a last touch, I went in with this blue liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to be outlining some of the scales and a few of the lines on my face. All right, that is my finished look. Now I am a mermaid inspired by Ariel's companion, Flounder. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Uh, I know it's a little bit of an odd direction to take a, a character that's not generally considered attractive and try to make it a sexy mermaid, <laughs> but it is. So I hope you like it, and I hope that you like Eerie's look and you go check out her channel because she's super creative and she really just deserves more recognition for all the hard work she does. So I really hope you guys go take a look at it and please subscribe. If you guys like these creative videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys for watching my channel, and I will talk to you later. Bye.